Hello everybody, my name is Joe Wong. In this series of video is brought to you by Ding Ding TV, Civic Leadership USA, and supported by APAPA and 8020 National Asian American PAC. Uh, we, this series, we talk about Asian American, how we're doing. In today's episode, we'll try to talk about three things. How are Asian Americans doing in this country? What is the good news and what is the bad news? What are some of the challenges that face us? First of all, the good news. In 2013, the Pew Research Report wrote a glowing report about Asian American. They say we're the fastest growing minority, we are most satisfied with our finances, and the direction of the country is growing, and we are the best educated uh, with over 55, 50% of uh, Asian American with college degree, and our family income is the highest. Now, the biggest group of Asian American are, first of all, the Chinese, then the Filipino, and then the Indian, in that order. But however, if you look at the income distribution, the Indian Americans are doing a lot better than the Chinese Americans, which are doing average. And then on the low end of scale, uh, some people from Southeast Asia are not doing well, especially the recent immigrant in, from Cambodia and the monks and so on. So that's the bad news. And the other bad news is that there is high income equity. In other words, if you compare the top 10% with the lower 10%, the distribution of income among Asians is higher than the whites, the blacks, and the Hispanics. So although many Asian Americans are doing real well, some are not doing good at all. Actually, they are doing worse than most uh, Americans. And the other thing is uh, we want to talk about family income. We Although we have high family income, we have high education, but if you normalize it for the household size, okay, they talk about family income. Uh, Asian family tend to be larger than normal, so more Asians stay in the same household. That's why they have higher uh, income as a household is concerned. The education, although we are highly educated, if you normalize our education, we're not doing so well. Also, English profic proficiency is a problem with most Asian Americans, and of course, the lack of participation in the executive ranks. Uh, for instance, uh, we have a lot of college professors, we have a lot of people working in high tech, and we have lots of lawyers. If you look at the people that are calling the shots in college, in the high tech industry, and also uh, that, that has been appointed judges uh, from being a lawyer, our participation rate is very low. We are not sitting at the big table with the rest of the American yet. So what are the challenges? The challenges is we have to find common grounds in spite of our diversity. The last episode, we showed that Asians are as diverse, even more diverse than most populations. The other thing is that we're only 5.8% of the U.S. populations. Uh, we cannot do things by ourselves. Chinese are the largest group. We just live with over 2%. So we have to work with the other Asian Americans, and mostly we have to understand the issues and we have to work with other minorities. In the last episode, we showed that if it weren't for the civil rights movement of African Americans, we would not be here. Because of the civil rights action of the African American, they changed the immigration law. So in 1965, there's less than one million Asian Americans. Today, we have more than two, 22 million Asian Americans. Our population has increased. This 
tells us that Asians have to work with Asians, but more so than that, we have to cooperate with the other minorities such as the Hispanics and the African Americans. So this is the situation of Asian Americans in this country. That's good news, that's bad news, but we have to work harder.